What's up, babes? It's Curly's Victoria. I am back with yet another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to my channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you like 10 looks from, um, and these are going to be jackets for the fall slash winter season of your life that you got to have, and they are all affordable luxury, affordable fashion, affordable, and you already know where it's from. I'm not even going to say it. Well, I'll give y'all a minute to, to guess. Drum roll, please. Ross. All of the, the jackets that I'm going to put on in this video are from Ross. So if you are looking to get you something and score you a good score, then you need to go to Ross's. The most expensive item in this entire collection has to be about $19.99, $20 is the most expensive item. Some of these items I, ha I just recently got. Um, I think there's like three things maybe four things about three things out of this collection that i just recently got over the last like two weeks um everything else been heavy but let's get right into the video i'm just going to show you all 10 looks i'm going to try to tell you price points if i can remember properly but if i cannot don't quote me just know that the most expensive item was 20 bucks so let's go let's get into it so the first item that i'm going to show you is my black puffer jacket y'all know i'm a puffer girl I have to have a puffer. In fact, I have to have at least three puffers. It has to be, you know, my neutral um, puffer, my black puffer, my, my white puffer. Anything else outside of that, baby, that's extra. But you guys know I'm not big on, like, color, per se. I'm big on neutrals and black, you know? So you're not going to catch me every day wearing pink or catch me every day wearing yellow. You're going to catch me in blacks and in nudes and whites and creams and stuff like that. But this is puffer number one baby get into it girl girl, girl. oh sorry y'all i'm trying to be cute but i got a hole in my workout pants i've had these for so long and it developed a hole and instead of me getting rid of them a lot of times when i wear them i'll just wear them with like an oversized jacket so you can't see the hole and today that's what, that's how i wore them, with an oversized jacket and i know that's tacky but until i order because it's um my fitness brand is typically based out of the UK, so I don't want to buy one item at a time. I need to buy bulk items, and then I also need to know what I'm buying, and I also need to just get it together. So I haven't bought black in a long time. But anyway, get into it. But anyway, this is what black puffer looks like. Wow. So you can zip it, but it to the neck. Vibes, right? <clears throat> It's giving vibes. I don't know what the lighting's like. It might not be the best lighting, but I feel like it's giving it's giving something, right? And I love the fact that you can control the um, scrunch by just this. So you see if I end up scrunching it, so if I pull the, right? And I do the side like that, it scrunches up the, the jacket more. So you can kind of see that scrunch factor. But I love this puffer. I want to say that I maybe spent $10.99 when I got this. Maybe. Don't quote me because a lot of these are not new. Um, and I get a lot of my jackets. Some of them oversized. So this is a large. I don't get everything in smalls because smalls do fit me. But sometimes I want it to be a little bigger for my oversized. But this is from a brand called um, New Look. Well, it says on the tag New Look Supreme. Not sure that that's the brand. Again, not sponsored by any of these items I'm just putting you on to what your girl be wearing. So the next item that I'm going to put on is this tan puffer. I got this one for about no more than 12 bucks, about $10.99. It is from maybe even, I think actually I'm lying. I think this one might have been a $16.99er. And I remember when I first first got it, I'm like, I got to have that because you don't always see the creams. So I'm like, I got to have it. In, indeed. And that's what the label looks like if you ever catch it in the store. And this one I got in a size PL, so I guess petite large. But again, sometimes when I end up in Ross, sometimes I don't have an option on the size because it's the last one. And sometimes I do have options and I will literally skip small and go to a large because I want it to be like a oversized look instead of a fitted look. So this is what this puffer looks like. It's just real, you know, to the point. It's a look, girls. It's a look. And um, 
I just basically can zip this one all the way up. And I like the fact that it's different from my other puffer. So this one looks like this. You gotta bring the puffers out, girls. Bring the puffers out. I definitely think it's important to have you the basic colors. Black, nude, white, definitely. So then I got this other puffer recently. So the two that I just showed you, I've had these for like a couple years now almost. But the this puffer I just recently got and I liked it because I picked a large or a medium, right? And it's from New Look or whatever. I picked a medium for it to be oversized. I love the back. Like if you guys look at the back, it kind of looks like a, a man's like a uh, work shirt. And I love that look. It's just my shoulders look a little burly. They look a little burly, sis. They look like a little man. But, however, it's it's loose on me. That's the part that I was having issues with, the looseness. However, if I scrunch my sleeves, which I have on a shirt underneath here, so it looks a bit weird. But if I scrunch my sleeves, it looks like that. I know it's hard to, but if I don't do anything to my sleeves, I did notice if I put like a purse on or something like that, it does kind of take down the shoulder look and it looks more feminine. Um, but I did like that oversized look, but that's what it looks like. And I was trying to fill up here to see if I had like, you know how sometimes people have the uh, shoulder pads? Girl, it ain't no shoulder pads. I should have got small. Um, it's just very loose on me, but I liked it so much. Who knows, maybe I can like somehow or another get like the, like a drawstring put in here so I can scrunch it. I don't know, girls. And then obviously you can zip this one up as well. And it looks like so. Obviously I won't have a round neck sh uh, shirt on with a V-neck jacket, but if I was to wear it zipped up like this, it literally covers the butt. And see, like, this is, I almost wore this jacket today, but I wore it, my other one. But it covers up my little, my hole, if I felt like wearing it. But this is, this one I got for $14.99. And of course, like I said, everything is from R-O-S-S-S. Wait, did I say too many S's? S-S-S. I did. It's R-O-S-S. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, oh, I'm skipping ahead of myself. The next puffer is this white one. So... I got this one in the size small, and this is from the same brand, the New Look Supreme. So New Look be coming through with the looks, you feel me? New Look come through with the looks. This is the white one. This is one of my favorites. Well, all my puffers, I like all of them, but I definitely like this one. It fits me like fitted, but I think that white just does something. Something about that white just does something for your girl. But this is pretty much what it looks like. Very stylish, very cute really like this oh I have to undo the uh it's not it right here like I told you guys you can control what the puff looks look what it looks like when you puff it up so that's the you see and then obviously you can open back up I can't really zip this up like that because the uh because right here these are knotted so I need to unknot them so it can loosen up on the jacket for me to zip it but I still, I think I can still zip it. Yeah, so this looks like this. And this was right within that same price range of between $10.99 and $16.99. I got these all at separate times, but I am the type of girl who shops out of season. So if it's summertime, I'm shopping winter, fall. And if it's winter, fall, I'm shopping summer. Get into it, sis. How do you think I scored a 99? Well, mm, rewind. How do you think I scored a 49 cent bikini the other day at Ross in a 99 cent um, corset halter top for 99 cents at Ross? Because you're shopping out of season and you're getting the great bang for your buck. Should try it. The jacket that I wore today is this one. It's like a coffee, like an espresso type of jacket. I freaking love this. I got this a long time ago from, this one is called Miss selfie and it is in size small it's oversized i tried to go up on sizes but maybe it was just too big for me mediums and larges were just too oversized this is already oversized but they were too oversized um i'm trying to get up on so basically it looked like this <coughs> 
it's a vibe for me it's the vibes for me baby do you see this and then you can button it up obviously if you would like wear it like that like so these are so comfortable i don't like how i got my outfit linty today but i'm not gonna hold you super comfortable if you're looking for something to keep you warm outside of the house baby just check it or it could be like it could be like a shirt you can style this so many different ways i literally can tuck like the front part of this into my pants and do like a button look like that like on some fashion i can leave half of it like this especially like my button up my polo type shirts i love to do that half tuck one i like the style but two it's just like if i'm it's summertime and i have on some short shorts or something like that i can literally just tuck half in half out and it literally will show off the fact that i have on shorts not that i'm trying to show off the fact that i have on shorts like the shape but the simple fact that it's not going to give the illusion that oh she doesn't have anything on at all at least you're able to see the shorts and say hey they might be many but they're there so that's another perk to being able to style your clothing like that um the other jacket that i have is just like that it's from the same brand miss selfie um this one as you can see the tag is still on here it hadn't got i got these out of season so i got these around summertime as i just was telling you guys the best time to get the best thing for your book is out of season so i got these like summertime so now that it's getting like super cold now i could wear these things um i mean the coldness is about to go away soon i am so annoyed like i'm i've been annoyed that it's been cold but i'm kind of annoyed too because i love fall winter wear and i just feel like i haven't really been able to really sport my collections like that because one minute it's 30 degrees and the next minute it's 80 so you gotta kind of come out of your cuteness or you have to leave the house knowing that you might be later but you need to come out and be able to be ready for the sun but i love this color and i know some people probably think well girl why do you have two of those when both of these are in a small when you could have just had the one they look alike but sis do they really when you put them side by side you can really see the difference one has that like that i don't know that bear like cozy cuddly color and then you have the other one that's like i don't know it's the details it's the details for me sis absolutely the details and i'm gonna stick beside it but let's move on to the next jacket again like i said i can't really pinpoint the exact cost of all of these coats but i will tell you nothing was more than 20 dollars the next jacket is this corduroy you know you have to bring back the corduroy i got this jacket out of season during summertime and i remember when i got this jacket i got it for five dollars it was like 4.99 or 5.99 at uh, ross and i'm like oh i got a headache gotta have it gotta have the drip you feel me so i had to pick this up i really did like it it's a size small i'll tell you guys the brand like the brand of it once i take it off but it's just like a nice little a nice little corduroy vibe nice okay i don't know why oh I do have pockets I'm like I know I have pockets but yeah this is basically what it looks like it's giving it's giving melanin popping and I love it melanin popping and I love it girls love it mm -hmm. that's the thing about hauls y'all when I do my hauls I gotta put all this stuff back up on the hangers and stuff but it's all for y'all. The next jacket I got, I'm obsessed, first of all, with these jackets, okay? I got two of them, two different colors. Two different days, different occasions. These were $20. Y'all know I'm looking for a good, like I'm usually looking for a good a bargain. And I'm like, $20 is not a good bargain when I'm in loss. <laughs> I'm trying to look for the $1.99, $2.99, $9.99, $0.49, okay? But baby, certain things I just can't resist. And this jacket was one of them. I said, oh, I'll give you all $20, $20 and a tip. <laughs> no, because I really did like the color of this jacket. It's just like, first of all, it's lightweight. <clears throat> Looks like a shirt, but it's also a jacket. <clears throat> Y'all saw me put this on in another haul. I was watching Kathleen's channel and I was just like, sis, that trench coat she had on, bad 
bad um bad like i love that trench coat she had on and i'm like whoa your trench coat looked like the jacket that i just copped out of uh ross because her trench coat was two-toned which if i remember i will link her channel in my um i might even link that specific video in my description so you guys can go look at what i'm talking about and it was from pretty little things and i'm like that trench coat slaps and y'all know i'm a trench coat girl so her her trench coat literally looked like my jacket but when i link it in the description box go show her page some love comment in the comment section below that i sent you and get ready for some good content but anyway it looks like this y'all and then I can zip it up. Y'all know I am obsessed with a good jacket. Oh my goodness. See, the thing about it is I like to keep quality, timeless pieces. So I like to have things in my closet that I know can go with me for as long as I'm tired of it. I feel like if it's something that like I wear it and it's got to go, it's not going to be a timeless piece. However, I do have like outfits that I might want to wear to go out and dress up and be cute. Those outfits, I don't mind if they're one-time hit wonder, where it once messy. I don't mind those because it's like, it's for an occasion. I'm not going to re-wear the same, um, like, dress attire all the time. You feel me? But I will re-wear certain jackets. I will re-wear certain pants. I will re-wear certain, you know, like, shirts. So I think that's important. That's really important. For me, at least. That's how I'm able to keep a lot of quality pieces. And people are like, well, where did you get that from? And I've, and I've had it for so long. This actually came from, like I told you, it was 20 bucks. The brand on this one is Sweet Wanderer. Which I know I've purchased things from this before. Because I remember the logo. And then this is in a size medium. Like I said, certain fits... You just have to try, you just have to try it on to see what you want. Like a small would have been a little bit more fitted on me if I would have got a small. So I went up and got a medium that way and still had that oomph to it, that oversized look. I'm the type of person who I can go fit it. Obviously this is my fitness clothes, but I can go fit it <clears throat> and I can literally go oversized like way too big for me. So it's that type of with me really no in between i'm not gonna wear something that's just loose it's either oversized or it's fitted simple normally for me the next jacket is from the same brand sweet wanderer this one is in the size large i didn't have options on this one when you see some of these timeless pieces baby you gotta get it and you can if you need to exchange it at another store that you see it at or whatever you can do that and if you never see it at another store then be grateful you got it now y'all, y'all probably gonna get on my case and I don't care. I used to have polo boots. I don't have polo boots anymore. I used to have polo boots back in the day. Um, got rid of my polo boots, but your girl still got her Sperry's, period. But I just wanted to show you guys this jacket. This is the final look. But make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.